You bet. Well, one of the most important things we can do is continue to expect Congress to do their chores. And one of those chores is getting our farm bill passed. And it's our farm bill. It's a food policy. It's a national security interest. And we that are involved in agriculture need to be speaking on behalf of agriculture. And that's to our elected officials, to our members of Congress, and expecting them to bring uh, a farm bill to fruition. Because without it, that's instability in the marketplace, and frankly, that is not uh, a, a path that we need to continue going down in this country. Okay. And then as far as ethanol goes, we need to be heard there as well. You bet. We're, next week we're coming up on the hearing in the heartland. The renewable fuel standard is being uh, revisited by the EPA. Uh, it's about making sure that we're communicating on behalf of our interests as a country. Our communities, our state, and our country are ran by the people that show up, and energy independence is very much a part of that conversation. We have to show up as farmers and ranchers, talk about our future, and a renewable future is not for this generation, it's for future generations as well. Energy independence, either we're extracting it from the ground or we're growing it on top. I, for one, feel that we should be growing it on top and using a renewable resource, not one that is being depleted. Okay. And once again, maybe just sum up uh, the preparation for this year, 2014, the, the key elements there to be ready for this year. Key elements for 2014, uh, make the tough decisions. If you need to make a change in your operation, be talking to those that are impacted by that decision. Have frank conversations with your lenders, your accountants, your support staff also sitting down and talking with your employees, anybody that's part of your operation, and that also includes families. A big part of that to be successful in 2014 is have that conversation about succession planning. What's next for your generation of agriculture? And if there's an opportunity to bring home the next generation, what are you doing to diversify your operation in order to be ready for that point?